Hi, my name is Evan. I go to the University of Minnesota Duluth. Today, I am at DigiKey HQ's Makerspace, and this is Summer Break Edition. Today I'll be showing you how to make a button matrix MIDI controller. This will expand upon the project in the previous video by allowing you to use more buttons. Let's go over the parts needed for this project. You're going to need 12 general purpose diodes, 12 SPSD switches, keycaps for the switches, vertical headers, right angle headers, a perf board, standoffs, screws for the standoffs, jumpers, an Arduino Leonardo, and a micro USB cable. For this project, you'll need a few tools, tweezers, a flathead screwdriver, and wire cutters. Now let's take all of our parts to the soldering station for assembly. Let's start by putting our perf board into a vise. Next, let's place four switches in a row on the perf board. Now we're going to prep the 12 diodes by bending them into a standing shape. As you can see, bending the diode into a standing shape takes up much less space on the board. I'm going to solder each switch onto the bottom of the perf board. Then I'm going to insert a standing diode. I'm going to connect the anode, the end without the stripe, to the lead of the switch. The other end, the cathode, is going to be connected to a horizontal wire. After all the diodes are in place, I'm going to strip some solid wire, and I'm going to place it across the board. Then I'm going to attach each cathode of the diodes to the horizontal wire. Now I'm going to repeat the process for two more rows of switches and diodes. I'm going to place a vertical wire onto the back of the perf board, and I'm going to attach it to each lead of the switches in the first column. Notice that this lead is the lead that is not connected to the diodes. Now I'm going to repeat the process for the next three columns of switches. Now that all my wires are in place, I'm going to add headers. First, on the front of the perf board, I'm going to add three right angle headers. After the headers are in place, I'm going to solder the horizontal wires to the headers. Now, going to the back of the perf board, I'm going to add four vertical headers. After the headers are soldered in place, I'm going to solder each of the four wires to the headers. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to add the standoffs. Now that we're done assembling the board, we're ready to connect it to the Leonardo. First, I'm going to take four wire jumpers and connect them to the header at the top of the board. Now I'm going to connect the jumpers to four pins on the Leonardo. Now I'm going to take three wire jumpers, connect them to the headers on the side of the board, and connect the wire jumpers to three pins on the Leonardo. Now let's take this into the lab for programming. Compared to the breadboard, my button matrix can be programmed using an example sketch from the library. First, I'm going to plug it in. We're going to start with pulling up the GitHub website for the library. This is where we're going to download the library that will allow us to easily create the MIDI controller. Starting on this screen, you're going to click on Clone or Download, and then Download as Zip. This will download a zip file into your computer's download folder. Once downloaded, open the Arduino IDE. I'm going to go up to Sketch, Include Library, and then Add Zip Library. Then I'm going to navigate to my computer's download folder and find the library that I just downloaded, MIDI Controller Master. Once the library is installed, I'm going to open an example sketch. I'm going to go to Examples, MIDI Controller, and then I'm going to open the example called Button Matrix. For my button matrix, there's a few changes that I'll have to make for this program to work. These lines of code are an array that map the mini note numbers to the buttons on my button matrix. However, the dimensions of this array are different from the dimensions of my button matrix. Because my button matrix is 3 by 4, I'm going to change these numbers. I'll make this 3, and then I'll make this 4. Now I need to fix the dimensions of the array itself. Now I'm going to select these lines of code and delete them. This will allow me to both create an array with the same dimensions as my button matrix and with the MIDI note numbers that I would like. But first, I'm going to add a line of code that will allow me to easily change the first MIDI note on my button matrix. This is MIDI note number 60, also known as middle C. 
Going back down to my array, for each note, I'm going to have the variable C plus a number. This first note, C plus zero, is just C. And from there, I will increment it. As you can see, the MIDI note numbers for my buttons increase from left to right. Lastly, I'm going to change this line of code. Again, I'm going to make the dimensions the same as the dimensions of my button matrix, so three by four. Next, I'm going to define which of the bus pins are connected to what pins on the Leonardo. Because my button matrix has three rows, that means that there are three horizontal buses running across the board. I connected the horizontal buses to pins seven, six, and five on the Leonardo. One important note is that the pins defined here have to be connected to the cathodes of the diodes. In my case, the horizontal buses. My vertical buses are connected to pins 11, 10, 9, and 8, so I will define that here. Now we are ready to upload the code to the Leonardo. Once the code is finished uploading, if you'd like to save the program, make sure you save as. Now we are ready to test it. Cue the more elaborate theme music. <laughs> 